Hi guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, do you guys want to just say your names real quick? And... Don Butler. Richard Butler. Oh, great. And uh, so you guys were over in Vietnam? Uh, yes, I was. He was. I was on a submarine. He was on boots on the ground. Well, I, I say the submarine guys are the smart guys, but you must be the tough guy. <laughs> you guys are brothers? Yes. yes. Thanks for being here. You guys look beautiful, or handsome, I should say. Thank you. Thank you. Looking good. Have a great day, guys. You thank also. You. Thank you. Please come back Hi, guy. You want to say hello real quick? Aloha. Yes, sir. Please. Uh, Aloha. Can you give me your name and uh, just say anything you want to about your career? Uh, my name is uh, Sonny Gay. Uh, Sonny Gay. I'm from Nanakuli. Uh, I counted the planes flying over the Waianae Range, and the next day we evacuated. My daddy was a Pearl Harbor man. He was here since 1935, and he had to uh, uh, leave immediately to come, and he was almost killed at the Makalapa Gate. Uh, he, he got here when the third wave was coming in. So we evacuated, and uh, we came into Honolulu and to live with relatives, and I'm probably one of the few men living today that actually saw the destruction of Pearl Harbor. God bless America. Yes, and uh, did you come here with your wife? Yeah, this is my wife, Jane. Jane. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for being here, too. Okay. And uh, now, so you're a child survivor? I'm 85 years old. Wow. wow. I, I was in Nanakuli. I counted up. We didn't know what it was, right? Yeah. How did you know? I've noticed... Uh, I have photos of like some of the young girls that were here at Pearl Harbor, and you can tell the difference the day before, the day after. Did it change your life that day? Well, the whole war would change my life because Nana Cooley was an all Hawaiian community. They still had about 50% of the population was full-blooded Hawaiians. But we had the Coulson's Raiders, the famous Marines that were stationed right next to Nani Kapona School. And we had right across there was a big Navy R&R &R camp called Camp Andrews. So there was a large Haole community within this Hawaiian community. They referred to Nanakuli as Nanakuli, and they referred to us Hawaiians as Kanakis. And I didn't care what they called me as long as they called me late for their picnic. <laughs> oh, I love that history. That's the true story. And bless your heart. Thank you. Turn around and I'll get your picture with you. <laughs> 